How you doing folks? This is Richard. Um, today we're going to talk about how to wire safety sensors um, to pre-existing wire in your wall, known as pre-wire. So, my customer bought a Chamberlain uh, belt drive. Fantastic machines right here. I unpacked it already and uh, pulled out the safety sensors and this is what uh, you know, this is what you're going to get out of the box so I'll show you how to wire these guys up first step so now that you have this nasty yellow tape they put around it which is very difficult to cut sometimes and these little wire ties once you have those off of there you'll have a a bunch of wire here and there's your sensors so I like to pull out you know you know a couple feet um, and I just grab the end here and then I'll uh, snip it right here and um, uh, strip the wires for it to be ready so now that you got it cut from the big bunch of wire um, we actually don't need that crap no more I'll just throw that away now we're stuck with our sensors with about a you know a foot or so, 16 inches of wire. I clipped it down here. You can see you can split the wire, the black from the white. And then you'll want to, with a pair of wire strippers, you know, strip it back about yay far. Uh, that's about a half inch. And then now we're on to um, cleaning up these safety sensors and making them look nice and pretty and mounting them to the brackets that it comes with. All right, now that we have our sensors looking nice and pretty, uh, with a nice little coil there, which I'm not going to tell you how I did because I have another video that I made it shows you how to do that you know instead of having just a straight wire looks kinda blah you can spicing it up put a curly cue on it like that and plus that gives you you know if you ever needed to extend your wire you know you can pull that give you some length um, with that being said let's go over to our pre-wire over by the garage door I'll see you over there all right, so now that we're over here, um, here's our pre-wire that's back behind the wall, which goes back to the machine up by the, up in the ceiling. Uh, you just want to pull this out. You know, I like to, you know, I don't want to cut it way up here, you know, I want to, I want to leave some. Um, so I'll, I'll choose about right here. You know, get some snips and just snip this portion off right here. So once I trimmed that wire back, um, I came down here with my my wire snips right here. Um, I came about yay far, a couple inches back, and stripped it just enough and pulled off the casing, which now I got three wires here. Uh, safety sensor requires only two wires, so I always myself personally like to use white and red. This green one we can just fold back, cut it off wrap it around this wire, whatever you choose. Um, we're gonna wanna strip the ends of these wire right here. All right, so now we got our, our wire stripped right there. You can see some copper, got it stripped back. Wanna take our sensor. Um, you know, these guys, you wanna mount from the floor, you know, no higher than I would say six inches, you know, that's kind of code, kind of standard. So I always put it around four or five inch mark. And this, you know, these sensors just clips around the track here like that. And you kind of, you push a little bit, it just kind of clicks into place. Now we got our sensor wire, which we have a black and a white one, our pre-wire which we have a red and a white one. So what we're going to do is we're going to match them up the best we can. 
So we're going to take white and white and tie these two together. And we're left with black and red. So then we're going to tie those two together. So light color, dark color. So now that we have twisted red and black together and white and white together, I like to put little wire caps on the ends of these so these don't touch. And, uh, you know, get yourself a staple gun, you know, and staple this guy nice and neat to the wall. That way it looks appealing and it's just not kind of hanging out there dangling around. Actually, check this out. This is what someone did before I got here. So here's how someone else did it versus how I did it. I'm not quite done yet. 